What's up guys, CP Modder here back with another video and today we're here with our follow-up video to the Dell XPS exploding swelling battery issue that we may have accidentally had. Now, as of today, which is a Friday, which is actually the day that I usually shoot my laser vlog series instead of these videos. Either way, we'll get onto that a little bit later. Um, but the technician has just left after repairing the laptop and I have to say, really really happy so far but let's get into exactly what happened fill you guys in and sort of well get to this system right here so this again is my Dell XPS 15 9550 it is about a three-year-old laptop at this point and has served me really really well it's got a ton of power under the hood whether you're running Linda Linda whether you're running Windows or you're running Linux Either way, it is a boss mode laptop. A little bit on the heavy side, but most of us out there can agree the XPS lineup from Dell is a really good value and also to high performance series. Uh, recently, in about the last month or so, I've recently had a battery issue along with a lot of other people on the internet where the battery would start to swell up, expand, and then subsequently explode if action has not been taken. Thankfully, I didn't get to that, but things did get really out of hand. So a couple weeks ago, I think last week I shot the video, but it'll be released later, like the whole scheduling thing is all over the place, but either way, I released a video going over what was happening with the battery, and I just booked in a technician to come out and actually look at the system and get a new battery installed, and well, today it has actually happened, and I'm here to sort of let you guys know what has happened. So the technician, unfortunately, did have to reschedule a day, so it does turn out that Dell is using contractor uh, technicians, which was totally fine to see, um, but they did show up with every single thing needed to not only only fix an XPS 15, but to also to build an XPS 15. And these weren't like just spare replacement parts in some sort of box. These were ordered specifically for this job. The technician walked in with a whole bunch of boxes and he had everything from batteries, SSDs, a new logic board. There were cooling fans in the boxes. There was new palm rest, track pads, touch pads, screens, everything that goes into an XPS 15 was in pieces brand new from the factory. And I looked on, uh, while the technician was doing stuff, I looked on the actual um, order docket that is usually on a box, and it was specifically ordered for this particular job. It had the um, job number on that, which is what I got given in an email, and uh, that was absolutely crazy. The Dell not only sent out someone, but basically sent a new XPS 15 with them to make sure everything was up and running. So the technician quickly realized that indeed the battery was shot, and leading up to this, I was out doing a laser vlog episode number two, and that's when the battery at the end of the day actually expanded to the point where, if we sort of lift it up, these screws here, 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 and also to here, actually cracked, the heads of them broke off because the battery had expanded so much. Thankfully, the bottom panel itself didn't actually break, but the battery had expanded due to just high temperatures so much that these heads all snapped off. Now, in episode two of the laser vlog, I didn't complain too much about the temperature because it wasn't exactly that bad, but after recording that video and leaving the laptop out for a couple hours, it basically went ahead and did that. Also, too, in doing that, the trackpad was basically completely wrecked. Uh, it lifted up so far that it broke away from the actual computer and the clicking mechanism just stopped. It was basically like having a rock underneath the trackpad. You could jam that thing as hard as you want, it just was not going anywhere. So the trackpad was shot, the battery had exploded, four of the screws along the front had basically snapped off like the thread was still in uh, the screw holes. Lucky enough, they were easy to get out with some fingers, but uh, it was not really the best situation to be in. So technician rocked up, replaced the battery, and also too was gonna replace the um, the whole palm rest section, but lucky enough we were able just to flick out the trackpad and put a brand new one in. So for me, out of this repair, new battery, new trackpad, and obviously four new screws, and basically we are off to the races there. So that took me about an hour or so, maybe a little bit under an hour to get the technician to come and do this, and overall it was a really positive experience. A lot of you may be wondering whether I'm in warranty or not, this thing is out of warranty for a very long time, it was bought with one year manufacturer warranty on it, we're now three years into this and Dell has completely replaced a whole bunch of parts at no charge to me. So I'm really, really happy with just how well they've handled the situation. Technician showed up basically, I think it was five or six days after I'd actually made the initial call to get this uh, problem solved. 
with basically an entire new laptop, replaced out all the parts that I needed and I was good to go. Now, as I did mention, this uh, technician that came out was really, really nice guy. He was a subcontractor, so he didn't necessarily work for Dell. Apparently he worked for uh, Dell and also to Lenovo, so kind of a contrast there. But either way, a technician that was local to me here was bought out and uh, carried out the repairs and I'm really, really happy with how they did turn out. Now, looking at the technical specification of the battery that was replaced, it is an identical match for match, although it is apparently the model that won't explode. And whilst I didn't get a shot of this, when the uh, technician took out the old battery and put it on the table side by side with the new one, the old one literally looked like an oval and it was all over the place and the new one was just your standard square battery that goes inside the laptop. So um, in terms of the battery, yeah, a little bit concerning there. But in terms of specs, it is a brand new battery. It was built a couple years ago apparently and uh, it's only got about 5% of wear on it, which I'm really happy with seeing that it would have been sitting in a box since it was made a couple years ago. So still got to do a couple charge cycles to see what kind of wear we are looking at for that particular battery. But uh, overall, not too bad there. So all in all, I guess we get to the end of this quick little video video updating you with what's been going on with my XPS 15 and honestly my overall sort of thoughts and impressions from working with Dell's service team has been extremely positive. I don't think there's been any other computer company that I've dealt with on behalf of someone else or dealt with on behalf of myself that have actually covered a three-year-old device sent out a technician to either my home or workplace with enough parts to basically put together a brand new model of that laptop. So in terms of the XPS 15 I'm really impressed with just just how far they went to getting the system up and running once again. Whether it be the guys that I talked to on the phone or the guy that showed up in person, all of them were super friendly and super helpful, answered all of the questions that I did have for them, which was how many actual problems do they have with this, which is surprisingly enough, not exactly too many, but overall my whole experience with the Dell support team has been really, really positive. And if it wasn't for Windows, I would definitely be using a Dell uh, computer any day out there for me. I think I've gone from recommending Lenovo laptops to now Dell laptops just because of that awesome support there. Now, obviously, depending on where you do live in the world will depend on what kind of level of support. But for me, here in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, I've had the best experience I've ever had with a warranty team, a service team, or anything like that. Again, I don't think I've dealt with any company out there that has gone to the level that Dell has for this particular issue. Now, yes, this particular issue could burn down your house and Dell does want to get this service before a massive lawsuit comes up, but I'm really happy to say that I've had a very, very positive experience with the Dell support team. So I guess there we go, that is my Dell XPS 15. If you do have a XPS 15 also too, which is suffering from these kind of uh, issues as well, please do get in contact with Dell because one, as I said, it could potentially burn down your house and two, it's free of charge. So hey, new battery, new parts, whatever got damaged, really can't complain there. Again, I'll leave any links down below in that comments, uh, rather in the description box for getting in touch with Dell or if you want to pick up one of these laptops, you can do so down below. Otherwise, guys, let me know if you've had any horror stories or some really epic stories when you're dealing with the support team down in that comment section. I'd love to have a chat down there with you guys. Otherwise, thanks all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.